Okay. So like we were just saying, when you are feeling any doubt or apprehension towards believing in something you're hearing, whether it be about higher dimensions or energy or life after death or whatever it might be, it's important to remember that we cannot believe something that we haven't been taught. So you only believe what you've been taught. And if something comes along which doesn't fit in with what you've been taught, it becomes like trying to fit a square box into a round hole. Like those uh, games that kids have, the, the children's games where there's the different shapes and then the holes that fit into them. Um, you're trying to take this thing which is the ultimate reality, is the box, trying to fit it into the circle hole which is your brainwashing, your conditioning, um, what we've been led to believe is true about reality and it doesn't fit and so there's this feedback and we say oh it just it can't be real or oh I'm going crazy or whatever because there's no ability for the non-reality to comprehend the ultimate reality um, the non-reality which has been what we've been taught to be real because none of this around you is real nothing you know nothing is real it's all just a, a, a trick of light and shadows a projection on a screen and that screen happens to be three-dimensional but it's still a projection just the same as a movie theater so when we've been led to believe that what we see on the screen is the ultimate reality when something comes along that doesn't fit on the screen we go Whoa, wait what's that it can't be real or when we're led to believe when we're, we're, we're uh, instructed or, or led to believe that something um, that doesn't exist on the screen is really there we say but wait I can't see it you know, this doesn't match up with what I've seen all my life on the screen. It must not be real. Well, in reality, the non-reality has been taken for real. Then it can't support anything that doesn't exist already inside of that construct. And that's why people have such a hard time believing in flying saucers and uh, anything, which is, is, is so obvious. You know, it should be simple to understand that, that there's people from other worlds. I mean, this should not be a, this should be a no-brainer. Um, the very fact that we're here is evident that there is other people in other places. Because the universe is so vast, it would be absolutely ridiculous to assume that we were the only people on Earth. And yet, there's a vast majority of people who still believe this. Maybe they just don't believe it. Maybe they're just, uh, you know, just kind of casually, um, just to accept that conditioning and, and don't even question it. Um, but, but the point that I'm trying to make is that it's not that they don't believe it, it's just that they don't have the capacity to truly see it, to truly believe and to see the truth, the simple truth of something that is existing outside of the conditioned version of reality. Their brain just does not support it. So all the time they have these crises of fates and all this doubt and all this stuff, and really, it's not real, guys. You know, it's, it's important to remember that. It's not real. None of this around you is real. It never has been real, and it never will be real. The one reality is you. The only thing which is real is you. And whatever you please, whatever you wish for to be real for you, you can't control how someone else views reality. You can only control how you view reality. You can't save the world by getting frustrated with it. You know, as I tend to do sometimes, getting frustrated with trying to help other people to stop fighting the new world order or whatever it might be. You, you can't get upset about that kind of thing. You have to really let and allow for everyone's perspective and allow for everyone's free will and remember that none of it is real. All this Illuminati nonsense. Um, Jeshua said the other day that Lucifer and Jesus are God's right and left hand. And I think that was a fairly accurate assessment. You know, just because people do some bad things, it doesn't mean that that wasn't entirely necessary or, in fact, created by us. I mean, look at Hitler, for example. Hitlers of the world will never win. 
the George Bushes of the world will, will never win. They've always been just to teach us. The Caligulas of the world have always been just to teach us, to warn us of the extent of our madness, <laughs> of giving our power over to governments like this. So don't blame anybody but yourself, because it's all yourself, and none of it's real. So we have like all of this New World Order stuff going on, and it seems scary, it seems frightening, swine flu, oh my god, all this stuff, but really, they're only exposing the corruption, they're only exemplifying our weaknesses so we can work on them, they're only becoming the worst aspects of ourselves so that we see them and we correct them, and that's evolution.